Our target is once it hits 190 is when I turn it off. Once it hits 110 is when I swing the upper heater over. We're at 101. One fifty. One sixty. Seventy. I'm going to let it cool. I'll put some thermal paste just a little bit on top. Put the heat sinks on. Get it all set up so we can press the power button and see if it works. And I'll be back when I'm ready for that. Alright everyone. Um, I believe I got it working. Um, I actually had to do a couple other things. Um, to the GPU I actually had to lift it off and do the whole process again I actually used the Xbox profile that I got from Jovi um, the first time I did it just by heating it up uh, it did not work uh, I used the profile and it works perfectly um, so I'm going to show you that it works 100% um, this is the same exact board I've been working on I promise <laughs> got a lot of time into this one but it's worth it just because it works. Um, and I got that little, I got the solder balls on top of the heat sink just to hold it down because it's got that other part to it that kind of makes it want to fall over. But anyways, I'm going to hit the power button and show you that it fires up. Voila! So... I got another one here that uh, is not given an E74, it's given a 0102 code. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole tutorial on how to do it because it's pretty much the same thing. Um, but I might, I don't know. Um,
but I'll definitely record how I did it with the profile because you have to raise the uh, upper heater a couple times but pretty much the machine does the whole thing so I hope this helps and if you need uh, any assistance with your own fixmygpu.com and I will be glad to help you out